Let's have a raise of hands. Who here knows of Matt Hain? Matt Hain, sorry. Uh, not Matt Hain that invented Hain's beans or ketchup. No, I'm talking about Matt Hain that is a very famous English author. He's known for his children's stories that I've once read, A Boy Called Christmas. But there is one story that I will know him for, and it's his memoir, Reasons to Stay Alive. This book, by its title itself, shows about how he overcame mental health and by step by step, he recorded all of his ideas and actions that he has to rebuild a second life, essentially. When we hear the words mental health, we think of social anxiety and depression. And well, you're not wrong, but unfortunately it is much more. The Centers for Disease Control and Pre Prevention has said that social, um, that social anxiety and depression aren't just part of it, but mental health is our psychological, our emotional, our physical, and our social well-being, and how our brains would make us do actions that we will in turn show with our um, actions in real life. Um, some uh, mental health diseases can be stuff like Alzheimer's or ADHD, but one that I have been going through is um, adolescent de development. For ages 13 to 19 and youth like myself, Mental health has become more common with us. But fortunately enough for me, I was able to not stress about it as much as I thought I would and would overcome mental health very, very well. I am now very fortunate to hear that in today's society, even though 40% of youths can get mental health, over 95%, 95% overcome it without any issues. I actually like those odds. If life were to be in a way where mental health would be in everyone's way, then what's life, what's worth for life, you know? Some famous people, hands up if you know Elton John, you know? Yeah. Elton John was a famous English singer and still is, but went through drug addictions and many mental health problems. But he made a song in uh, his movie Rocket Man, right? That says, I'm still standing better than I ever did. And those words are really inspirational to show that he has gone and overcame mental health to live and sing a song publicly. Demi Lovato was also a very famous singer and that went through mental health, showing um, public, um, publicity about it. And it's good to see that she has finally recovered and to know that she's doing even better. A famous quote by Michelle Obama says, showing, showing and expressing our feelings isn't a weakness, but is a strength. And I love that, I inspire and I thrive on it, to know that if we were to share our problems, then there wouldn't be anything wrong and that we are more confident and strong. If there is one thing that I have to leave with you here today is that mental health may be strong, but we are stronger. Thank you.